What it is, y'all? It's your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back with more Damachi. We've got a new banner today, a new episode of the anime. Uh, my review is coming up here really shortly, so stay tuned for that. But first, let's talk about this new unit. Now, I got the details on her last night, but I'll be honest with you, I didn't read through them. I was so busy with editing the Pokemon project uh, and uh, sleeping um, that I haven't really gotten a chance to look at this. So let's take a look here, all right? So new Aisha. Usually Aisha units drop, they're pretty good. So HP is 4408, which is really good. Not uh, amazing in comparison to some of the new, uh, anniversary units, but, you know, really good. Really, really solid. MP is, I mean, I say that as like 4,000, you know, two months ago would have been mind-blowing. Now it's like 4,500 is that level, so. Still a substantial number. 2125 strength, really good. Endurance 643, it's a little lower. Uh, we're in the 800s now with a lot of units, so... Hmm. Um, so she's comparatively squishy, which I'm, I'm intrigued by. Agility is pretty good. Uh, 1206. Dex is good. 922. Uh, so let's take a look at her, uh, her effects here. So I'm going to start with skill one. That is a, uh, that is, that is a paragraph there. Phantom Blade. Foes plural. Fast. Dark resist down 35%. Not 40%. Damage received attack all targets plus 35%. Okay. That's a good combination right there. But only for one turn, so you have to have turn replication on. Self, strength and dark attack damage 70% for three turns. That's a good number there. And three additional actions, mid-dark physical attack damage received 40% per each self-agility reduction skill. Agility reduction skill. So I'm guessing she's going to debuff her own agility. The downside to that is that really only comes into play if, like... There's a debuff on... Well, okay. So she's a war game build. She's purely a war game build. Because she's assuming you're going to get debuffed uh, basically all over the place. So what you're looking at here with this skill... It's a 120 MP cost, which seems high. But really, she's not designed for, you know, family events or anything like that. She's raw war games. So what the skill one does, you're, come, you're supposed to come out of the gate with this. Get that extra action. Turn two, you do whatever skill two is down here get this extra action, and hopefully get the extra 40%. So really, it's another one of those situations where it's designed to um, basically trap your opponent. We've gotten a lot of those lately. You know, skill ones that are single targets that have insane buffs, uh, percentage, bu not buffs, but percentage boosts. Um, and this one's kind of similar to that. Those are like taunt traps. This is agility debuffing traps. So if you debuff her, she just gets stronger. So, pure raw war game build. Uh, Raging Stream. Foes, plural, super dark physical attack. Damage 80% ooh, per each self agility reduction skill. Damn. Ugh, okay, that's... So, basically read this as such. Okay, you're assuming they're going to come out of the gate with a major agility debuff, right? A lot of people do. It's very, very common in war game. And what's going to happen is, turn two, she's going to come in here, she's going to hit 80% damage on a super class attack. Dark physical attack, no less. Uh, and she's going to hit 80% for each agility debuff skill, and then a second attack for 40%. Now, it's a mid attack, it's not a super class attack. So, where is this would normally, you know, equate that to the equivalent damage of, like, what, 110% total damage? It's it's a wild skill. She's she's crazy for war game. Super Dark Physical Attack for the th third skill. Super Dark Physical Attack damage 80% per each self agility reduction skill and alter on guard rate. So if she gets taunted, she's still pretty damn strong. So basically, she's pretty good all the way around. But remember, the big thing to keep in mind here, this is purely 100% a war game build. Um, for me personally, I don't... I could see a lot of people using her. She's going to be splendid in war game. Amazing in war game. Um, should the average player chase her? Probably not. I'll be honest with you guys. If you're like me and you're chilling on, you know, you you just maxed out Haruhime. You just maxed out the anniversary units. You're reeling. You want to rebuild your, uh, your base here. So I don't know if it's really worthwhile chasing a unit like this. Uh, she'll probably drop on you eventually. We're going to get plenty of, like, free summons, plenty of two- and three-star tickets, you know, all that good stuff. The reality is, is she worth chasing? And the answer is probably not. 
I mean, I hate to say it. I, I just don't see myself going after this unit in any major capacity. Okay, we got a four-star here. Thank you for that. Very old Hestia. And three-star Lily. So we got a four-star out of it. We just didn't get Aisha. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to chill on this. Um, I, I am well aware she will be a major asset and a major boost to the two a war game team, especially with like family war game and all that stuff coming up. But for me personally, I'm going to save. Now, here's the big caveat behind this. If you are a war game main, if you're like crazy, crazy in a war game, war game is like your big one. Absolutely. She's totally worth. But for me, I'm really more about the record buster. I like the PVE better than the PVP personally. That's just, that's just me. Um, usually I get in war game. I'm pretty happy to get to like King one, maybe low jester rank and then just kind of, you know, be, be happy with that result. But those are those people that are striving for, like, hero rank and stuff like that. And I think she's going to be really good for that. So if you're one of those people, definitely worth. But for, you know, those of us that are, I don't want to say casual war game, but a little more casual, um, I just don't, I just don't see a huge amount of value in her. And the honest answer here is if you have to choose between her and Haruhime, you 100% need Haruhime. Haruhime is going to be a must. Haruhime is one of those units that, like, a year from now, we might be talking about, okay, they're finally making her slightly less relevant. Remember, like, a few months ago when we started looking at, okay, some of these, uh, the, the anniversary units are starting to make the wind Haruhime a little, little less relevant. Like, she'll, she'll be helpful, but she's not mandatory anymore. Well, this one just power crept her so much that this Haruhime is now mandatory. So if you have to choose, you got to do this unit. She's she, above all else. She'll be good in every facet of the game. Whereas you're looking war game only. Yeah, you might use her in some dark events, but how many of them? And anyway, the family events and all that that are out right now. Uh, I mean, not, not really. Uh, the other thing is, and I know people are going to mention, but she has a percentage buff. Yes, but the only way you're going to get that is if, if your agility is debuffed. It's so few of the foes out there debuff your agility. The only time you're ever going to see that percentage buff, the, that percentage boost, the only time you're ever going to see that is war game. That is it. So that's kind of my answer. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of good. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to back away. Uh, I might later on go in there, drop 400 iris or whatever, just to get the guaranteed to have her. Um, but as far as maxing her out, I'm not in any rush. It'll happen when it happens. Once again, but I say that as someone who prefers Record Buster. So I know people are going to argue with me in the comments, but I'm not talking to the war game main. I'm talking to the average player who is reeling from, you know, I, I, spending tons and tons and tons of Iris and is, uh, is like, you know, what's next? What's coming next? I'm looking for characters that do it all. And I see her doing one thing and one thing only. So that's my take. Let you guys thought in the comments down below, though. I'm sure you already have, and I'll catch you all in the next one.